So I'm using the screen record for the for audio, but I don't the thing that I have on screen I probably won't actually show only because I want you to see the images in its full capacity, even though I technically I think am showing it in its full capacity. And another reason why is because I wrote my full name when I signed these drawings and I don't want to dox myself. So I might have to censor it. So basically this audio is coming from screen recording, but the images you'll see on screen will be edited. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Before I waste any of your time. Anyways. I found artwork that I drew many years ago. There's no dates. I don't know what year this was or the month or anything. I don't know why I didn't write the date. But either way, I knew it was like when I was... I don't even know how long ago this was. Like when I was... Had to have been when I was like 15 or 17 or 18. Somewhere around there. I don't know. I think it was around the time I was dating that... Probably when I was 18, I don't know. Um, cause like, I, I got really into black metal and stuff like that when I was 18. I don't think I was into that when I was 15. I think I was. I don't know if I knew about it. I don't know. I don't know. I was always into Satan, though, kind of. I know that's really kind of also. But, um, but anyways, 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 the first image is the sigil of Baphomet. I can't believe I fucking drew that pretty good i it doesn't really look like i messed up that much um i'm shocked at my drawing skills it's funny with my drawing it's like i try making album covers um digitally like i try drawing digitally on the computer and it comes out so bad my drawings digitally you know with the mouse and stuff like that and i feel very ashamed but ironically enough Funny enough, I think I draw better with my hands in real life. You know what I mean? With my hand, you know what I mean? That doesn't really make any sense. You'd think real life by hand drawing would be more harder. Not for me. I don't know why, but anyways. But it's been many, it's been a very long time. Like, it's been like 10 years probably since I've actually drawn something physically. I'm not even exaggerating. It's probably been that long. Because no one really draws on paper anymore or writes on paper anymore at all, technically. Unless you're doing a check or some, a, a, filling out a bill or something. You know what I mean, but you know. So I don't know if basically what I'm trying to get at. I don't know if I still have my art skills. I don't know if I'm still able to draw this good, I'm hoping. I don't know, maybe I'll have to reteach myself. But anyways. And another thing that you need to know is that... The good drawings that I do, it's not from my head. Like basically, what I'm trying to get at is that like it's not it's not an original idea. When I try do when I try do when I try to do original ideas, that's where it starts looking really bad, and stuff like that. But when I um, draw from reference, or oh, there's a word, there's a fucking word for it where you fucking draw. Ob observational drawing? I don't know what the fuck it is. I'm up and looking up actually. Because there has to be a name. Because I did this in school. Where you look at a bowl of oranges and you try to recreate that. What is the name of that? Or what is the name of that art, that art technique? What is the name of that drawing technique where someone's naked and you're trying to redraw re, redraw on paper like what is the name of that i've been trying to look that up for so many years and i couldn't find it what it that what that's called and i think i know what it's called now it's called observation drawing it says obs one website says observation drawing in layman's terms means drawing what you see yeah that's what i was i guess that's what you call it i guess um now, there's something similar called perspective drawing, which it's similar, but that's not exactly what I was looking for. But yeah, observational drawing is, I'm very good at that. Or drawing from reference or whatever the fuck you call it, I don't know. But anyways, 
moving on before this video gets way too fucking long. Um, okay, the next image is, and I don't know if it, because I don't know what my YouTube audience is like. I don't know what kind of fans watch me and stuff like that. So I don't know if they get any of these references and some of y'all might be too young to... Like, you didn't grow up with this shit. Like, I grew up with all this shit. Like, I'm a... I'm a millennial. I don't know what to call it. Like, I was born in 1995, so I grew up with all this shit. And you you guys... Some of you were just being... some Like, some of you were born after this shit. So I don't know if any of you guys get it. Or if you guys are boomers and you're older and you still don't get it. I don't know. But if anybody out there gets any of these references, let me know. Because like I said, I don't know what kind of people watch me. I don't know if it's emo, goth people. I don't know if it's grumpy old men. I don't know what. If I don't know if it's con right leaning conspiracy theorist, conservatives. I don't know who the fuck watches my channel anymore. But if you let, if you understand these references, let me know. Anyways, this drawing is a character uh, from a TV show that I used to watch, and I, to be honest, I didn't really care that it, the show is um the Amazing World of Gumball. You probably know what that is. Like if you're a mom or something, or if you have a, if you have children, you probably heard your, because you know, people like a lot of the people I talk to on YouTube is like thirty years old or something like that, and they have kids. Some of them are eighteen, but you know, most of my friends have you know like nowadays are like twenty, thirty maybe 40 you know and they have kids so i don't know if your kids watch this show or if you've heard about it but i used to watch it the amazing world of gumball i don't know if it's still around i didn't really care that much about it i know i'm gonna get a lot of hate if any of the fans of the show is gonna see this video i didn't really care that much about it the only thing i fucking cared about was carrie the ghost <laughs> That's the, in, in fact, I remember going on iTunes. I know I'm going off on a waffle tangent, but I remember going on iTunes and downloading The Amazing World of Gumball, but only the episodes that had Carrie in it. I didn't give a fuck about any episodes that, did, didn't, that didn't have her in it. Like, I only cared about the episodes that had her in it. Like, that, I basically watched the show just for this ghost girl. <laughs> it kind of goes back to the whole... Um, there's a phenomenon on the internet where guys grew up watching cartoons that specifically had the goth girl, you know, or the emo girl, you know what I mean? I don't know if you've heard about that phenomenon. It's it's the goth, it's the cartoon goth girl crush or something like that, you know. And of course, there's like the real version of that. There's guys that are attracted to like, of, of course, there's guys that, that have, like, a preference. It's not a fetish, but there's guys that have a preference for real skin and bone, blood, living goth girls, obviously. Um, but there's a cartoon version of it, you know. And a lot of these, that could, that could be a whole video within itself. But it's funny because a lot of these guys are not even goth or emo themselves. They're kind of just like normie posers and shit like that. See, I, I, I wasn't like that. The reason why I liked these emo and goth characters was because I was emo and goth. Simultaneously, I think at one point. Like at one point, I think it was like simultaneously. <laughs> I was both at one point. But usually it, it was like separate or something like that. And here's another image of Carrie. Um... I don't know. Something? Yeah. But yeah. She was emo. She is emo. I don't know. Um, here's another image of... Uh, I don't know if any of you guys... See, I don't know if any of you guys are going to get any of these references. If you're not emo, if you're not goth, if, 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 you, if, you, were, if you were never emo, if you were never goth, or if you're not emo now, or if you're not goth now then you might not get any of these references, but um, this is just for the people that understand what these cartoons are. I don't even know if I'm even going to tag these cartoons. The only reason why is because I feel like YouTube might turn off the comments for this. Last time I showed off my drawings, last time, one, one of my videos I showed my drawings and the comments were shut off, and I think it was either because 
YouTube thought I was underage, or the drawings is what made the U I don't know if it was the drawings that made the comments get shut off because it's it's like YouTube thought it was made for kids even though it's fucking this is it wasn't made for kids or something like that. Or they just thought I was youthful. I don't know. I might show my face at the end of the video to prove that I'm of age. I know I I sound really young, I know. But I'm <sighs> I'm I'm 29 years I don't fucking sound like it, but I'm 29 years old and I'm a male. You know what I mean? Um, you know. The only guys, like, I'm not trying to be stereotypical, but the only pe the only men that I can find that have my voice are LGBTQ people. Um, like, a lot of queer and trans people kind of have, like, my voice or intersex people kind of have, like, my voice, you know, even though I'm not intersex and queer and trans, um, I'm not even gay, like, I'm not even gay or anything, I'm, like, bisexual, um, but yeah, a lot of, like, a lot of those gender-neutral people tend to have, like, my voice, even though I'm not gender-neutral, I'm not creating any you know, I'm not creating any stereotypes. I'm just saying a lot of them, well, a lot of them aim for that voice. Like a lot of them want that voice. You know, like an androgynous person would want an androgynous voice. Obviously, that's what they want. Obviously, um, there actually was a period in my life where I was androgynous, but I never did anything to myself. My voice is just naturally whatever. I don't know. I'm getting off topic. There is the feminine. James Charles voice, which I don't have, but that's also a thing. Um, I don't want to get off talk about that. Okay, this is Creepy Creature. I don't know if any of you are Canadian. I'm not Canadian at all. I'm not. But I watched the show somehow. I don't know how I did it, but I watched it. Um, but yeah, it's like a Canadian show or something like that. But it had a goth character. And she was just goth, and she was just goth, and it was a goth show, and there was even a fake goth band in one of the episodes, as weird as that sounds, which is funny because in that episode, the music that 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 that, that they were playing wasn't even goth at all. I don't know. I don't know if you guys understand what the fuck I'm talking about. Any of these shows, I don't know. Moving on. Oh, one thing I want to say is that I hate how I drew on the lined paper. I hate how I fucking did that. I don't know why I was so stupid to draw on lined paper, but that's fine. I mean, it gives, like, a TV aesthetic, you know what I mean? Like a fucking VH, I don't know if VHS is the right word I'm looking for, but, you know, it gives that, like, TV aesthetic of, like, you know, it's all wiggly and shit like that. Like, maybe I'll add a cool special effect or something, I don't know. But here's another image. Um, I t actually took a photo. This is Marceline from Adventure Time. You should probably know what Adventure Time is. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what the show Adventure Time is. Even Tyler, the creator, the rapper, loves Adventure Time. <laughs> you know? Um, but anyways, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I took a photo of this image many years ago. I might add it in the video, I don't know. But here's a new, newly updated photo of it. You know what I mean? Um, the th like the thing that you need. I gotta put this phone down. The thing that you need to understand is that. Well, let me go back. Actually, the first image of Carrie was drawing from reference. You know, the second one was. The third one was, but it was from the show, though. The Marceline one, I don't think, was in the show. I don't know. I don't remember Adventure Time that much, but I don't know if there's a scene of her jumping in the air like that. I don't remember. But in case there was no scene of her in this position, um, I uh, ripped off an artist on DeviantArt. I'm just saying, I'm just saying if this is an original pose that this character is in, 
I, I, I ripped off a, 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 an artist on DeviantArt. Now, when I, then again, when I say I ripped them off, I'm not saying I traced or anything. I'm just saying I basically redrew what they drew. But I don't know what the artist's name is. I can try to find it. If I can't find it, I'm sorry. I'll maybe come back to this video and comment it or maybe add their name in the description if the comments are set off or I don't know. But I just kind of just don't want to get to any like, this was like 10 years ago. Nowadays, I would definitely not redraw someone's deviant art images because that's just like stealing people's ideas even though technically not because you're just redrawing it if that makes any sense but it still is stealing in a sense i don't know what i'm trying to get at but basically yeah nowadays i would never look at an i would never look at i would never look at an original piece of artwork and try to redraw it i would never do that i would, I would never do that unless if it's like in a tv show or something but yeah i just don't want to get into any like drama and then people like be like you're stealing ideas and then talky turkey turkey tom comes out of nowhere and is just like there's a guy called nurse i don't know what he sounds like in his videos it's been a long time since i watched his videos but i don't want him to come out of nowhere and be like Nastic Main train there's a guy called Nastic Main train on youtube he's into some drama about redrawing people's original artworks on DeviantArt and he's cancelled now and blah 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 and shit like that. I don't want Keen Star from Drama Alert coming up my ass about that. But yeah, I apologize for doing that. But it's a good practice though, I guess. It's just a fucked up reference. But I like the drawing though that I did. Probably the best drawing that I've ever done, excluding the creepy creature one. This image is the si the sigil of Lucifer. Yeah, it's not really there's not really that much to say about that. Um, here's the upside down cross. I know people are gonna get offended. The, f the fucking funny thing is the upside down cross is not even offensive. It's not. Apparently, it's the cross of Saint Peter. Which I didn't know about at the time. I was trying to be edgy. Well, not I wasn't trying to be. No, I wasn't trying to be edgy. I I've never. I don't think I ever truly tried being edgy. I think all of the dark shit that I was into, like I was taking it seriously. You know, being edgy is like trying to piss people off. I don't think I ever did that when it came to my Satanism. I took it very literally. In fact, I never, I never, never have I ever identified as a Levian Satanist. I've, like, most Satanists are atheists. I was never an atheistic Satanist. And, in fact, I was never an atheist to begin with ever in my life. Like, ever. Like, I was never an atheist. I may have came close to atheism. Like, the closest I've been to is agnosticism. Well, I don't know if God exists or not. So I've been very close to agnosticism. But have I ever been close to atheism? Not, never really, not really, not really, 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 not really, I don't know. I always believed in a higher power or something. Anyways, here's another ripoff that I did from some artist. I don't know... Again, I don't know who his name is. I can't even. I don't even know if he's even on DeviantArt anymore, because this is a human version of Carrie. I tried finding it by typing "human Carrie from Gumball" or "adult Carrie from Gumball," and I couldn't find anything. So I don't know if his artwork is still on the internet. I think I still have the original. Um, drawings that these people did saved on my computer. I think I do. So in case I do, I think what I might do is drop those images to um, go on Google, go on Google Images and drop them in the search box thing, whatever, and try to see like the source of where these images are coming from. You know. That's if I have the original. I mean, because this image was originally, again, 
created by someone on DeviantArt um, digitally, like digital. I'm talking about digitally, you know. Um, and it was like purple, like it was like purple in color or something like that. I don't know if she was wearing purple or the background, the background was purple. I don't know. All like I said, I'll find the artist. I'll put it in the description or the comment section or at the end of the video or whatever the fuck. But yeah, this is Carrie from Gumball again. I don't know why I drew one eye. I don't know why her other eye is. I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. But the, it, she looks weird now with just one eye. Unless I'm trying to create like the illusion that she's like looking at her side or something like that. I don't know. I, I really don't get why she has one eye like that. You know what I mean? Might want to actually add another eye for that. I don't know why. It could also symbolize her eye being closed. Uh, yeah, I guess. But I, if, if that were the case, I would I would have just drawn it closed. I don't know. Moving on. Here, here is finally an original idea that I came up with. I came up with in my head of Carrie from the Amazing World of Gumball, the human adult version. Oh, I assume she's an adult. She might be a teenager, I don't know. Um, he was, but anyways, he was her sleeping in our bed. I don't know, I just kind of got that as an idea one day. I don't know why. Um, I might have to make a part two, because there's way more images that I've made in the past. There's a lot, there's a lot more. Um, but here's the last image, I guess. Pure fucking Armageddon. Again, I was very into black metal, and I still am. I think back, I know this video is so fucking long. Black metal was like my favorite music genre for a very long time. Nowadays, I prefer alternative metal. So like, no, I think my my favorite metal, I put, let me I put this down. Oh no, I'll put it back up, hold this. My favorite um, subgenre of metal has always been new metal. Like that, like that was that used to be my number one favorite. So like, Slipknot, Limp Bizkit, uh, well, Lincoln Park mostly, you know, you know like bands like that, you know, the rap metal, you know stuff, and then I switched over to alternative metal, like bands like Tool, Deftones, and Chevelle. I consider alternative metal. Um, and then I went to black metal was my favorite subgenre of metal, but now I've gone back to alternative metal. Like the, a lot of the influences that I do in my three bands, you know, you'll hear you will hear a little bit of some of those bands, like at least vocally, maybe not instrumentally, but vocally. Like I have three music projects. I have Gnostic Mind Train, I have Morphinoid Femboid, and then I have another music project that I don't tell people anymore because my audience on here fucking hates me or the or they're not interested in my music or whatever. Well I was on it's funny, I get a lot of hate on this account, but on my music account it's like all love. It's like all love basically. I mean sometimes I get hate on there because my music is very weird and my music's weird because I'm I can't play instruments that well and sometimes I make it weird intentionally anyways. But basically, yeah, like I just re I really love the sound of Deftones and Tool, like vocally and instru and instrumentally, but I just really I really like that soft boy voice of like just so like innocent like look like, so innocent and then you scratch and then you scream like i love that new but new metal bands were kind of like that in a way like corn was kind of like it's gonna be me hit my baby one of my time <laughs> that's um that's that's a joke that's a joke I'm, imagine corn doing hit me baby one more time by britney spears hit my baby one more time boom, 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 boom. I gotta keep my voice down because it's nighttime, but you know. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, I'm probably gonna end this, but that's the drawings for now. I might make a part two. I don't know. But yeah, this is Gnostic Mind Train. 
Let me know if I drew good 10 years ago. I think I did. I think I did pretty well. Even though I was drawing from observational reference, it's pretty damn good in my opinion. I just didn't like how I drew on the lined paper. Oh, a little bit off topic. Not really. I'm going to get back into drawing again. Drawing from reference. Again, not stealing people's shit, you know. I want to draw anime. Again, I'm going to be drawing on plain paper. I want to draw anime. Um, I know anime is cringy and shit like that. No, I want to make like an album cover or something like that, maybe. Like all this time I'm drawing album covers on my computer. I might want to just physically draw an album cover from my third secret band. You know, see how well it comes out. I just want to get back into drawing in general by hand. I just want to see if I still have my skills and stuff like that. I was born to draw this good. I didn't really, like, I guess some of it could be from school, I guess, and I'm just suppressing me learning from school, but I feel like this was, like, a gift. I'm sorry, I heard my dad coughing or sneeze or something. I don't know what that was. Yeah, my dad's coughing or something. You probably can't hear it. <laughs> but yeah I want I just want to get back into drawing in general I don't know if I'm gonna color it but yeah I might not even use it for album covers I just might want to just draw in general but yeah oh and by the way if I do a part two if I do a part two to show you guys my other drawings I have drawn on plain paper so you'll see what that looks like as well okay I'm gonna end this this is getting way too long I'm sh in case the comments get shut off because YouTube thinks that I'm a kid or something, I'm an adult. You know, I'm 29 years old, so this is proof. You know, so hopefully the comments won't get shut off.